A special moment at Baylor Hospital today when people who have survived traumatic life threatening injuries were reunited with the health care workers who fought to save them. Fox 4's Sean Rabb was at today's emotional celebration. Sean. Brendan, the people living normal lives before that moment when they became victims of horrific accidents that could happen to any of us. Today, they came face to face with the health care workers who helped them to say thank you and show their gratitude for a second chance at life. How are you? A family reunion at Baylor Hospital. Oh. Folks related by traumatic accidents that nearly took their lives did change their lives. You just see say, things from a whole different perspective. High school coaching legend Mark Bactor on the sidelines of a high school football game when the play came his way and he was rolled up. I was retired. That should have happened a lot longer, you know, earlier than that. But it can happen at any age. Fernando Barajas' daughter Jasmine just beginning her own life three years ago. They told her twice she wasn't going to survive, but you know, God is good. You know, we put, uh, put her in his hands and you know, she's been through a lot. You know, she uh, wasn't able to watch, wasn't able to see. And Sarah Milburn, an Uber passenger, left quadriplegic when the driver ran a light. Sarah, a college athlete who's pressed through therapy here at Baylor. Then DART police officer Justin Miles among the many, saved by the first responders who rushed in when he was ran over. Had it not been for the fire department, the paramedics and the engine company that got to me so quick, most of my doctors have said I shouldn't have made it off the scene. I am humbled to be able to do what I do. The reunion bringing doctors, nurses, first responders, even therapy dogs back. Back together with the patients they all work to save. Patients who have a second chance at life related by trauma, connected now by faith. I have made a commitment with my Lord that uh, I'm going to stand out for Him. And uh, sometimes I didn't do it in the past. More than 50 people returning to Baylor for the reunion, including a woman who had a brain injury 30 years ago, meeting for the very first time the surgeon who saved her life. 30 years of thank you.